In the previous video, I suggested that, when we're typically looking at the full factorial output, we won't need the analysis of variance or parameter estimate section, so I'll hide those now. Let's actually look at some further output that will be useful for understanding what effects we have. The first place I want to draw your attention to is the Effect Details tab. Let me expand that tab now. What we'll see is, for each source in our model, a section that lists automatically the least squares means table. That is, what observed means we have for each of the different, in this case routes, times of day, and the combination of routes by time of day. It's usually more useful for us to look at plots of these different means. So you'll notice, under each of the red triangles, we have the option to reveal the least squares means plot. Let me turn on the plot for route, and let's take a look at what we have. For the route, least squares means plot, we see Gilman Drive and La Jolla Village Drive on our x-axis, and our y is the y variable, that is, the time to campus means. What we have around each of the points is a confidence interval. It's the 95% confidence interval about the mean for each of those routes. This is showing us that La Jolla Village Drive was, on average, slower than Gilman Drive. And if we look back up at our effect test section, we can see that that effect, or that source, was statistically significant. Under time of day, we can also reveal the least squares means plot, and I'll do that now. Notice here, we have the plot ignoring the rest of our structure, looking just at the time of day effect. That is, is it faster at 8 o'clock or 9.30? We can see that it is a little bit faster to go at 9.30 than at 8 a.m. And if we go back up to our effects section, that is our list of the tests of our effects, we can see we also found this to be statistically significant. Finally, let's reveal the plot for route by time of day. This will be the factorial plot we looked at before, showing us as separate lines, Gilman Drive and La Jolla Village Drive, and the time of day on the x-axis, 8 o'clock and 9.30. The factorial plot is nice because at once we can see the effect of, overall, the routes, that is, if we look at the midpoints between these lines and look at their separation, that's a representation of how much of a route effect there is. In addition, we can look at the midpoints between the routes at 8 o'clock, so right about here, and at 9.30, and that'll give us the representation of this time of day effect. Of course, looking just at time of day, or just at the route effect, shows those differences more clearly, but once you get good at reading factorial plots, it'll be useful to look at them all at once. Now, there are times when you don't want time of day, that is, this factor, on the x-axis. You would rather have it switched. So let me show you how you'll do that in Jump. First, let's remove the plot. So I'll click on the red triangle and deselect least squares means plot. And now, to switch the axes, you'll hold down the Shift key. So I'm holding it down now, and then I'll reselect the plot. And now, I'm letting go of the Shift key. Notice that Jump has recreated the plot this time with the different times of day, as the separate lines, and the different routes on the x-axis. Notice this plot looks different, but it really is the same data. It's simply plotted in a different way. Again, if we wanted to look at the route effect, we would find the midpoints between now, in this case, the separate lines for time at each route, so right about here and right about here, and that would be our route effect that we saw before. The time of day effect would be the midpoint on the lines themselves. So if I were to look at the midpoint for 8 o'clock, and the midpoint for 9.30, well, that would be the time of day effect, a little bit smaller than the route effect. So notice we can switch the axis for these factorial plots. Again, the trick is, let me turn off the plot first, I'll hold down the shift key, and select least squares means plot. Now, if I don't hold down the shift key, and select the least squares means plot, Jump will return the plot as we had it originally, with time of day on the x-axis, and as separate lines, the different routes. 